Okay. Hello, everybody. We're on page nine. Um, just to give you a quick update, there's page eight. And it's it's done as far as I'm concerned. I drew roughs. I kind of filled in more of my roughs, but they're still pretty rough. Um, but one thing that made it more of, um, you know, got it closer to where it needed to go is, of course, adding, once you add your text and you start to add balloons, then it becomes a story. It takes it to that next level. Anyways, what we're going to start by doing regardless, regardless, is we're going to just start by filling in some panel borders. We're going to start by baldo smudging this thing. And uh, it's not too hard usually. There we go, two lines. Three lines. They can look, looking good. I am home from work. Likely I'm going to have a little extra time in the next two weeks. I'm going to be on vacation. Not next week, but the week after that. I plan on doing a lot of watercolor. I might bring my watercolor pencils. My colored pencils might actually be too unwieldy to bring because I, if you see this wooden board that I've got everything under, it's all colored pencils underneath. Like it's, it's a lot of colored pencils. Anyways, I don't know if I want to bring that and lug that around with me, but yeah, you never know. We've got a lot of different options here. Same deal with my oil pastels. They're inherently a bit messy. And then there's carrying them around. But watercolor I can carry around. I think I might do that. It might be a lot of fun. Boost my skills up a little bit. Okay, well that wasn't so hard. Let's let's take a look at this without the. First of all, I don't know if there's anything. This pencil layer. Nothing going on. Let's get rid of it. Okay, this layer. This is just the text and the panels. Let's keep that. But let's title it pencils. And let's add a layer. Rename ink. Okay, and let's just go ahead and start adding more in. Now it could be that I want to just really build up my pencils first, and I probably should. Um, this is going to be something in the foreground, maybe a like a you know I've been doing these tree branches, plants and things. They're in a kind of a forest clearing. Maybe there's some ruins, like a ruined Greek pillar column or something. Can you imagine? Crumbling. Maybe the way to go, right? I remember when I was in college, I had this kind of, um, <laughs> I have a minor in like classics, um, which is a uh, interdisciplinary program which involved languages like Hebrew, Latin, and Greek, and then other classes like comparative mythology and um, you know history of Greek theater and stuff like that. But um, 
I had this uh, kind of elderly professor who had gone to Greece at one point and had pictures, like just home pictures, you know, like my vacation to Greece that were all taken like in the 60s and 70s and some stuff. And uh, they all prominently featured his, his wife, who was very scantily clad. <laughs> And bikinis and stuff at all the Greek ruins. Alright, hang on. I just had that memory come back to me. I'm like, why is he showing us this? Hold <laughs> up. All right. I know the head shape is wrong here. Ah, like I said, we're not into the drawing yet. We're not into the, the inking layer. There's much that can be done. One of the things that I'd like to do Yeah, I think this is a good line. Help everything looks pretty empty right now and then there's right up front there's going to be a ruined you know, Greek column. Where's the rest of the column? Maybe I should make the rest of it kind of collapsed over that way. I think in order to make it seem like they're exploring, I have to have them looking in different directions. Like he's looking this way, and then this guy is going to be looking that way, and maybe the monkey is looking up in the other direction because they're all, you know, it shows that they're in a different environment, a new environment. Maybe he's looking directly over. No, this is, yeah, it's still in front of him. And if we don't get it 100% right, that's okay because of the pencil layer, right? You know, the, a lot of people put a lot of emphasis on, you know, having those tight pencils. But I think that's has a lot to do with you're working in a team in a traditional manner which I'm not on either on either count so I get to make a couple extra different choices Now, is his head too big here? I think it's just a tiny bit too big. Nothing dangerous has happened yet. We've got to change that. Now, I've said before, if you've been following this particular series, there has to be an almost immediate attack, but what I decided now is they're getting lured to the top of Mount Lycaon and um, that's where that's where the uh, the action is going to take place. Now they could get there within the confines of a single panel. I mean, they can both kind of fly. I mean, Prometheus can just fly. So, um, 
and Abrax has a flying mount. I need to get rid of some of my grid here. My gritty. All right. I want to show his head turned a little bit. So not quite a full profile, but like a three quarters. And having these, you know, these kind of travel sequences and and things, they, they kind of lend credence to the, this is an adventure, you know. All right, speaking of wide eyes, hang on. Ooh. All right, for Abrax, his ears are outside of the turban. There's this. And then the neck has to be... It's a little bit better. I don't know if they're just mindlessly smiling. There we go. And his head is definitely too big. This is the constant danger. Drawing the head first is you're going to make the head just a bit too big. All right, let's keep the. He's actually got a tie on. I think this is going to be the most difficult figure, possibly on the whole page. Let me look at it. And I do think I should vary the size of the figures here. Um, this and this are very similar in size, and it's making me a little bit regretful. Like, I may have to redraw this panel where the messenger bird appears. It's meant to be a panel that teaches you a little bit about the world. And so I, I think it's an important panel. All right, hang on.
All right, something like that. This arm is way out of proportion, but we're going to fix some of that. The trousers have got to be accounted for a little bit better. <laughs> I've got to figure it out. Um, okay, so maybe if we turn his body a little bit to the side, put the other, like the monkey, and go a little bit further behind. And then if this arm is back, this arm is forward, then this leg can be forward. And then this is just straight up garbage. What am I doing here? That was meant to be a tree, I think. A tree limb. I can do some trees right here. I'm looking at this arm and I'm thinking, okay. This arm is back. This, this is the arm that should be forward. It's this arm that should be forward. If this is back, this should be forward. And then we could change the angle of the hand a little bit. All right, I'm going to keep working on this. Hang on. OK, I think I found out a solution, figured out a solution. I'm talking to my thing here. And the solution is to push this angle down, like I think it's like this. I gotta figure out what to do with this hand. <laughs> this, eh, hands are tough. All right, we're close. We're so close. We're so close. I don't have to do a whole lot. 
for a hand. Just got to be kind of believable. All right, now, if we're going to do him pushing his angle to the side, that means we're going to have to show more of this side of the jacket. And <laughs> this is a tree. And I was going to do like this kind of plume of mist coming up. But now I'm kind of regretting it and I'm wondering maybe, well, maybe I can still do it. Maybe if I just do it this way. But I think the problem is it's like it's like having two foregrounds. We don't really need two foregrounds. We just need one. And the one foreground is going to be this pillar. Which, by the way, needs to be bigger. Or does it? Something like that. The problem is I'm not sure if this is going where I want it in the foreground, you know. So I, if I if I extend this angle past the leg of Prometheus Powers, it's a little bit better. And now it kind of looks like he's looking at it. Well, that's a little bit better. Okay, well, before I get too frustrated with it, let's just, um, I'm going to take a day and get on the Saturday morning and continue drawing on it. And we won't start inking it right away, but I think we can officially say that page 9 has begun. And it's looking okay. We're getting across what I want, which is idyllic Greek myth um, wilderness. And seemingly abandoned, but it's not really abandoned. We'll see more of it pretty soon, in fact. Let's see if we can fix this shirt. Oh, I screwed this up. There's a chance I'm going to have to go back to the uh, reference drawing or even find better reference drawings for Abraxas. Because I want to have him walking. Yeah. In this... Uh, here I'm erasing the whole thing. All right, let's see if this is the torso. This arm back, this arm forward. So that's f this leg forward. That's as close as it's going to get for right now. Maybe there could be, maybe he's even looking like there's a lizard or something up here. You know? I'm 
Well, yeah. or a turtle or something. All right. So there's a lizard. <laughs> All right. Pretty soon, very soon. October 4th, my inking class starts. I'm looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, we should see some more stuff. Maybe maybe we'll see some for real traditional inking, which I haven't done in a while. Well, I mean, I do. I'm still doing art. Traditional art in my sketchbook. All right. Please like, follow, and subscribe, and I will see you later.